Introduction to Northwest Coast Native American Art I had lived in Vancouver very briefly as a child and it was during that time when I was first exposed to the art of the Northwest Coast Native American Indians. It was the towering colorful totem poles out in Stanley Park that everyone gazed at with wonder and appreciation. It took about 30 years later during a return trip to Vancouver when Northwest Coast Native American art caught my eyes again. I was in Vancouver for business and landed at the city's new airport terminal. One could not help but notice the huge native carvings near the arrivals area. I saw many wonderful wooden flags representing different animals. There were also art prints, paintings, masks, wooden bowls and even furniture with these animals either painted or carved right into the pieces. The colors and designs, which might be considered a bit exaggerated to non-native eyes, were striking as well as bold. I knew at that time that I wanted to include some of this magnificent artwork on my walls back at home. So I bought two plaque carvings and carried them home like newly found treasure. Historically, the native Indians who live along the river valleys and coastal waters of the Pacific Northwest were all hunters and gatherers. These included bears, killer whales, eagles, ravens, salmons, wolves, hummingbirds and even frogs. Chiefs and mythical characters important in their legends such as Thunderbirds were also included as art subjects. Northwest Coast Native American art is just only recently gaining some major attention in some galleries and museums around the world. Compared to other native art such as Inuit, exposure of Northwest Coast Native American art is still rather limited to the Northwest Coast of Canada and the United States. This form of artwork is virtually unknown to most parts of the world including